How's it going? My name is John. I go by the artist name Chamberlain and today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite plugins which is XLNXO and using it in Ableton using drum racks. Um, so I think that this is a pretty uh, awesome workflow because I always use drum racks previously for my drums and everything but once I got to using XO that changed the way I uh, put drum sounds a lot faster as well but because it was a plugin that and I was so used to drum racks I really liked the capabilities of drum racks which included being able to drop effects on specific um, drum samples that I was using so um, this is my workaround for how to do that there's a few other benefits as well that I'll share and I'll drop a link below for my drum rack as well if you can't be bothered setting it up I should also mention I, I have no affiliation with XLN XO. I'm just a fan of their plugin. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, so first and foremost, this is my Ableton um, template. I have I'm not going to go into huge detail, but I've got a few groups here that for, for side chaining purposes, and I'm going to start with a completely blank um, MIDI channel. And what I'm going to do is get a drum rack first drop this in here and the next thing you want to do is get a copy of XO XO and you want to drop it into I would say C2 you want to drop it into um, an area that you're going to be looking at frequently because you obviously want to open the plugin um, and the reasoning behind C2 is because the triggers for XO start at C1. So if you drop it all the way up like E8, you're gonna have to keep scrolling up through your drum rack to see this every time you want to um, access the plugin. So I'm not gonna talk about the benefits of XO, but um, just briefly, like if you haven't seen it, um, this is what it looks like inside. Um, and as I mentioned before, this is C1, and this goes all the way through to G1, I believe. Um, but we want to get that routed through this. So the first thing we want to actually do is go into our instruments and get an external instrument. And let's call this our kick. Uh, and the MIDI is going to go to this drum rack and it's going to go to, um, yep, that's just this um, first channel. And it, the audio is going to come from the drum rack bus one. Uh, we're going to do this eight times. So after dropping this out eight times, let's just rename these so that these are more indicative of their correct trigger. Clap. Close hat open so the next thing is we need to get the buses all in order so at the moment because we just copied it from the first um, channel they're all just linked to channel one we want to get these to their correlating ones which would be one through to eight so kick two will be two, um, the snare will be three, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we're halfway there at the moment. So this is almost perfect, but the only problem is the way drum racks are routed is that they take whatever the note is that correlates to the drum rack. So in this case, it was C1 where the kick was, but it always plays C3 so that if simpler is, and which is what um, drum racks is by default, simpler, when it's triggering a sample, it plays it at its correct pitch because simpler pay, uh, plays the correct pitch at C3, but that's not what we want for this. So we want to actually go to the routing options in here by expanding these open, clicking on this down here and seeing these kick all the way to the flex, these how it says C1 here, we want to change the play to correlate what that is. So C1, uh, C sharp one. 
and now when we go to export when we go to export this um, our actual triggers that we want to see are, are, like the relevant ones are also listed here the beauty of this is now instead of just being having to instead of just having to treat this as one channel I can now start dragging potentially this equalizer and just affect this snare stuff like that um, so that brings me to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching um, if you've enjoyed this or found it useful please like and subscribe this is my first tutorial but it will let me know that i am putting out content that people are interested in so uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day